What's good, YouTube family? Woke up early and we getting the news reported over here the right way, the true way. So, you got a situation with Shakur Stevenson. He's back in the public eye again, the first time since Takeoff Tragic Murder. Everybody said Takeoff was having a situation with fake people around him, such as the boxer. The boxer had backlash, and the backlash is still going crazy because he took so long to speak up, and people are calling him a basically fake friend to the Migos because he didn't want to speak up based on his ties with connection to mob ties. It's not what I'm saying. I'm telling you what the streets are saying. Since I'm a real one, I kept away from Shakur Stevenson. I didn't open up my piece. But I got to do this story since y'all going crazy and the messages and saying, bro, you got to speak on it. Are you friends with Shakur Stevenson? I love him as a boxer. I don't know this individual from nowhere. I don't know nobody involved in the case. So we do the news the right way. We ain't trying to get nobody locked up. So before we get started, salute to Pesh Mayweather. Y'all go support Pesh Mayweather's YouTube channel. Show love to the homie one time. Blessings to the kings and the queens, man. Once again, man, shout out to I Smoke Hip Hop Nation. We got to do this story the right way, the true way. No extras added into it and no none of our personal feelings and opinions. Now, they got Shakur Stevenson back in the public for the first time since the legendary rapper, half of the Beatles, a.k.a. Migos, take off was tragically taken from idiocy and people just wanted to be on the scene. Now, the boxing star basically was in a public eye because there was a storm his way people had pictures of him being spotted and a lot of things he was inches away from the situation before i get started this is him right here because i know people are going to say i'm cap he wasn't there i seen it like the day that takeoff got killed i did mention it i just didn't put pictures and all that. i was like this yeah my homie told me shakur was over there instantly people like bro leave that box alone he wasn't there why would he be you niggas are just dumb 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 he is part of the i'm not gonna say mob ties he's part of jay prince boxing situations he gets representative by the prince family i don't know which one but jay prince is a boxing aficionado and the, one of the main people he represents is shakur stevenson so many people were like shakur is gonna cap the whole time he's here he ain't gonna go into it he's gonna just make himself seem uh you feel me like he, he don't know what's going on or whatever because of his ties and pay attention to that key part the ties now without further ado i'd, I'd rather y'all hear from you feel me shakur i got more information and receipts on him in this situation but i want y'all to hear from the man's mouth himself because that's the fairest thing you can do for anybody in this world don't paint a false narrative don't have your own biasness and your own you feel me a, a narrative to throw in on what he had or as far as being a uh, accomplice which i'm not saying that at all but when people act like they're your friends or whatever the best way to say if they're cool with you let something happen to you and see how they behave then you'll know it never was a friendship to begin with in the first place now listen to sure core stevenson right here kind of low-key hide himself from the entire situation you feel me blessings to all of y'all now pay attention the names at 135 what do you want next? Not what can happen next, not what can the politics make, but when you go to sleep at night and you think about your game plan, how? what's ideal for you, man? If I'm thinking like strategic as I am, uh, I find like I'm gonna tell you how offensive this interview is. Not the people interviewing them, much love to the interview. I'm going to watch a little bit more and I'm going to skim through it because I want these people who's interviewing them to, you know, go get all the things that they get. I don't know what's their podcast name, but I'll put it in the description box if I can find it. about to do their thing and, you know, I'm going to get my turn next. So just to keep me active and keep me sharp, uh, Williams will pay to be good. But you say you're going to, I know you got to go last question. You say you're going to get your turn next. A lot of people looked at Devin Haney when in the weigh-in pictures, you know, we ain't special. It's all up to him. I mean, that's going to be, the ball's going to be in his court at the end of the day. Uh, if he beat Lomachenko and he know I'm next in line and he decides to move up, uh, that's all on him. But I'm definitely down for, to make a, a big fight between me and him. Be honest. I, I know that you cool with Terrence Crawford. I know this. I know you cool with him. Who you got? I, but you cool with Earl Smith, too, though. We just see you more with Terrence Crawford. 
Who you got name, man? You said you got to go to your little brother game tonight? Yeah. What what what, what sport he play? He play football. Oh, okay, shout out to him, man. Hey, um, bro, we got to give you your respect, man. Not only did you come up, like a lot of people come up in boxing. I'm out of it. Uh, I just try to get them kids a, a, a hero, somebody that they can see and, and want to be like. And, uh, a hero? Did, did Shakur Stevenson just said a hero? Okay, now I got to turn up a little bit. Shakur, much love to you. But, bro, look, this is you next to the guy's moments before takeoff lost his life. You're sitting up here talking about you're a hero and all this. Bro, that, I don't fall for the cap. I hope you become a legendary boxer. I hope you become the best thing in the world. But a hero, you are not, sir. Majority of our so-called superstars in the industry... Y'all live your whole life trying to be cool, trying to be with the gangsters, trying to be like them. To me, ain't nothing hero about that. You sound like Lil Boosie when he said that sucker ish. Let's keep going. So, bro, that's nothing hero about you. You're taking pictures with Takeoff and Quavo, and you know your heart is not with them at all. Let's just be real. We know who you picking. We know who you riding with. In this situation, I would have respect you more if you came out and made a real statement, a real one, not this crap you wrote right here, because this is a statement and you did this late in the game after everybody already did their parts these youtube folks done you know like academics and all these other youtubers done try to solve the cage bro you can like save the crocodile tears for the next man i best believe i know this for sure in my heart them folks ain't fucking with you they know who you're aligned with already shakur this is a bad look my nigga i don't know who's your press secretary it's a bad look you come in the public eye the first time since the homie takeoff loses his life and you're out here talking about your boxing this and that no with all due respect niggas don't give a damn about your boxing situation right now everybody in their mama honestly even with everybody solving the case and breaking it down they just want to know, bro, what the hell honestly, deeply, rootedly happened? You're sitting talking about your boxing expertise. Yeah, my brother played football. We don't give a damn about your little brother playing football. And that shows you the disingenuous behavior between these people, man. TM, look, boxing star Shakur Stevenson is back in the public eye for the first time after since takeoff's tragic murder. But he did not speak about the events that went down that night. TMZ broke the story Shakur was standing inches away from the Migos rapper just moments before he was fatally shot twice in Houston Stevenson went silent on social media in the days following the shooting aside from a tweet honoring his friend bro, bro that is not your friend can I say it you part of the mob and all. I'ma just say it, bro. Allegedly, you part of the mob now since they represent you. So I would I'm not telling you to tell on your friends and them the mob. Who's saying all that corny ish? I ain't 12. But what you could have did since you taking pictures with Takeoff and Quavo, then let us know that friendship is kind of real, bro. Not just some celebrity, another celebrity fake ish. Let us know this friendship right here meant something by you. Forget about the corny letter you wrote, which by the way, you wrote it late as hell. You didn't write it in a good enough time to make us feel comfortable enough that you cared. But let us know that everything was cool, like your heart is broken. Something, not the typical prayers and all that. Miss me with that, bro. We know folks in them is who you really riding with and you hoping they get out of it. You hoping nobody gets in trouble for it. You just honestly don't give a damn because you just wanted to be seen by one of the Beatles, a.k.a. Meatles, to help your resume out. But you know you didn't give a damn about them. Look at look at you in the picture, my nigga. You look suspect as hell in the picture like you just have to take this picture for publicity reasons. Bro, Hollywood is so fake and Shakur Stevenson, you are one of these Hollywood fake people. I'm not saying you had anything to do with that murder at all why would i say something dumb like that but just like i've been calling out a lot of celebrities you people are fake 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 i think the family would like people like you not to speak on their names again and not to post special we sorry and all that because they know you ain't god because when the mob gets to you Ain't nobody can come save you. But anyways, man, look, I'm DJ Bless One, man. Love your family. Love your kids. Stay blessed. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Salute to the I Smoke 
Hip Hop Nation. We're doing a $600 giveaway. I ain't got bread like that, but if I did, it'll be a million dollar giveaway. But we're going to have a little get together. I'm not doing verses today. It will just be a celebration of the 200,000 um, subscribers list. And we'll definitely give love to the people who make us. Because unlike these other fake ass celebrities, I know what it means to be loved by people who are actually rocking with you. Unlike these celebrities, man. Look. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed. I don't got to tell you to stay dangerous if you're staying safe. Roger that. Copy check.